Okay. So I'm in Azure AD Connect Server as I mentioned earlier. And I have opened the same article on the server. Same script. And as you can see, these are the names of the connector. So I have opened PowerShell ISE and I have replaced the name of the connector as you can see. This is the connector that represents to my Azure Active Directory. Right? This is the name of the connector. And this is the name of the connector that represents my local Active Directory or on-prem Active Directory, itsense.local, as you can see. Yeah, the name. Just again, for your reference, those of you who don't know, all you have to do, just go there on a computer running Azure AD Connect and run Start Synchronization Service. Under Connectors tab, you have the information about the connectors here, right here. Okay. So all you have to do, just note down these names. And once you note down these names, all you have to do use this script copy paste change these two values with the connector names and gen just execute it i have already executed it so as you can see password hash sync configuration for source updated and this is updated and after that, one more thing, as I said, password changes are requires are required. So I may, for testing purposes only, I have a user called root. I will reset its password to something else. Okay, this user is getting synced and it's it's a member of ADDS DS administrators group. It means it this needs this is this is gonna be one of the administrator of Azure Active Directory domain services. And let's change the password of user one as well. Okay. Okay, and then just for the sake of it, we switch back to Azure AD Connect and we do run Sync Delta. Okay, we run Delta Sync so the synchronization to take effect, and as you can see, synchronization will be running in background. You see, in progress. So it's doing all good. So this step is important. Once you do this step, you need to wait at least 20 to 30 minutes. So what I will do, I will wait at least 20 to 30 minutes. To try at least. It's hard, but... And then we will, we will log it to the server one that we have provisioned and in Azure. And I will try to add server one into Active Directory domain services domain. I will join that ADDS domain and I will install remote administration tools, which I believe we can do it right away. So I will see you in Azure now.